Yeah, my uh, question's for Jim about the rental. So if it's owned by the person individually, can you transfer it to an LLC to own it? Yeah, very easy. It's just a, a, a quick claim deed. So you just go from yourself individually to the entity that you own, and it's a tax-free uh, issue. Depending on the municipality, though, you may have local transfer tax. Usually there's an exception if it's you to you for estate planning purposes, but states are starting to change that a little bit, so you could have a transfer tax. So you always want to calculate that and see if that's a hurdle to getting it done. Is that something that CPAs should do or lawyers should do? Either. I'm okay either in that one. Often the CPAs are better suited because they're local. You know, if the property's where you are, it's, it's okay. fine for you to do. You know, one thing I want to mention on the fact pattern that came up in the case was the reason I asked about the Florida, for example. When we set up real estate in an enterprise, it's a real estate investment company, right? It's not a REIT, you know, in a formal sense, but if you have multiple properties, rental properties, and this client is flying from Virginia to Florida, to me, now you're opening up the ability to deduct airfare where maybe she wasn't before, to deduct meetings in town with advisors where she wasn't before. So creating an LLC around an asset creates a formalistic business approach or at least a business posture for that asset and it helps justify those expenses a little more.